Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I'm along here with Joe Collins with Bad Wolf Burgers, and we are so excited. It smells so good here. Joe, thank you so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Joe, we have got some wonderful stuff cooked up, but first of all, I just want to ask, how long have you been in business here now? Well, we started about seven and a half years ago in, uh, in, in Metathorpe. It was Metathorpe Cafe, oh, and know. we did the meat and two and the kennel beans and cornbread, and it's just evolved into burgers. Into burgers, and they smell delicious. So we have so many different burgers here. Can you kind of tell us about your burgers and some of your tailgate specials? Well, my burgers, we call them fiercely crafted burgers since we're bad wolf. And so I would recommend anybody tailgating, if they're going to make burgers, m make them phenomenal. Make them stand out. Make people remember your burgers. So that's what I try to do every time I, I try to create a burger. Um, today I brought the uh, Cajun burger, the Bad Wolf burger, and the Spalding burger. Now these burgers look so delicious. I can't tell you, Troy's over here salivating, looking at him, I'm telling him I'm gonna eat his burger. And Lisa's, I think, I about to start munching too. Yeah, so, yeah, we've got plenty of burgers, it looks like. Now, tell us, when, when people are trying to get your all's orders, how far along do they need to put their order in with you? Just a day ahead. Um, we'll cook it up, we'll separate all the condiments out for you and have it all cooked and set and ready to go for you. Um, for the beer cheese, we we'll also make our, our own uh, Bad Wolf beer cheese. And you can just come and pick that up anytime. We are always have it ready. This beer cheese looks so delicious. I can't tell you. I cannot wait to get my like. I'm going to eat one of the Spalding burgers, and it's made with the donuts over at Spalding too. It looks like yeah. it looks delicious. Now I know we've got burgers out, and can you kind of tell us how to keep this food fresh and safe at the tailgate? Well, I'd say the best thing is keep everything. What I do with cold food. I'll have an aluminum pan, I'll have actually underneath that, it's sitting on ice and keeping things covered and keeping flies away from it and just make sure your hot food is hot. Um, one, one thing I do notice that people don't understand is when you do pack your cooler, put the raw chicken on the very bottom. Oh yeah, because it's going to leak, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh yeah, that's smart. On the bottom and then you ground beef and then kind of la layer it up from there. It looks like Lisa's getting into it over there in that Spalding burger. Lisa, you better save me a bite of that. Her mouth's full. She can't talk. <laughs> I know she's having a good old time over there. Now, that is, that is the, uh, the, the Phil Philadelphia has the Philly. That is the Lexingtonian burger. I mean, it's made from uh, ingredients from Metathorpe Cafe, Spalding Burgers, and Bad Wolf. It's all Lexington, so that's our, that should be our burger. That is that looks so delicious. And do you have some other tips for us about some of the tailgate? You know, because I really think putting your chicken on the bottom, that is just a smart move. And I, I'm sure it's an amateur mistake that we see often here. What else should people do when they're uh, getting ready for the tailgate, getting their burgers, getting everything coordinated? Well, it's just that. Make sure you got plenty of ice. Keep ice. It hot. Keep, keep, uh, keep an eye on your, um, when you have your catering pans, your fuel. Right. Make sure the flame stays lit. What I recommend is buying the gel, not the wick type. Oh. And that way your food will stay hot and, and the water keep everything hot on it. Because if it goes out, it's going to be cold. And uh, also, Oh, yeah. I, I, I would recommend when you're done catering, throw the food out. Don't take it home and save it. Just get rid of it. It's been out there for hours, so just, just get rid of it. No, I think that's great. You want to make sure you have plenty of trash bags to, and just toss it, you know, because you're probably going to go into the game after you've been tailgating and have to, having that food just sit there, whether it's in a cooler or not, it's not going to have that delicious zesty taste. Now, I, I've got to ask you, Joe, you're around burgers, you're around the beer cheese and this delicious food. What is your favorite and most recommended burger? Is it that Lexingtonian you were telling us about? Well, no, I actually tried an Australian burger recipe once. Oh, you got Troy's attention. Troy, I tried. Oh. I tried one of your Australian burgers. With kangaroo, I hope. No, no. <laughs> I had uh, pickled beets oh, and, okay. and banana peppers, and they said it was the biggest seller in Australia. So I tried. Can it. I just tell everyone at home? Never heard of that burger. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you must have went to a tourist burger place. <laughs> you must have been. For <laughs> well, the I didn't, I didn't sell any of it. <laughs> I didn't sell a one. So, but yeah, but that's how we do it. We just kind of come up with the best Buddy, burgers. I just have to say, uh -huh. if this came to my place for a tailgate, I would be as happy as pig and you know what. Well, absolutely. <laughs> I would be so well, happy. Well, we've got Bad Wolf Burgers, and we have a special promotion that you're offering. If we could go ahead and throw that up on the screen now, that'd be great. Yeah, it's just our beer cheese. Uh, we're taking a dollar off for all the uh, Saturday uh, football games. Oh, that's awesome. A dollar off your beer cheese. That is wonderful. Guys, go ahead and check out Bad Wolf Burger. 
Joe, we appreciate you being here, and thank you so much for bringing all this deliciousness. My pleasure. We'll be back right after these messages.